how to add a before and after slider to your Wix website. That is exactly what I'm going to be showing you step by step in this video. So the first thing that you obviously want to do is open up the Wix editor so that we can go ahead and make changes to your website. Now, what you can do is I have personally added in like a blank section to add this to. However, just find a place on your website where, you're, where you actually want to go ahead and add this slider. Now, once you have done that, all you need to do is go down to the link in this video description. And once you go ahead and click on this, it will take you over to this third party software called Elsite. And this is what we are going to be using to get the before and after slider. Now you can go ahead and sign up for a free account with Elsite by just entering your email right here. And once you have signed up to Elsite, click on widgets at the top. Now once this widget area opens, you should be able to see a bunch of widgets. But if you just go to the search bar and search for before, you can see we have the before and after slider. So just go ahead and click into this. And then we have a responsive before and after slider. We can take a look at these. So there's a dog that was like, there he is before he got caught and there he is after he got caught. Um, there's like a, a few different ones that you can choose from right here. Um, a list of works like this, beautiful renovation right there. And then we also have a product comparison. So just go ahead and choose one of these that you would like to add in. I'm going to go with this one. So just click continue with template. And then add in the images that you would like to basically have before and after. So add in the before image right there and then add in the after image right here. And then you can also add a little bit of text at the bottom. Now, once you are happy with that and how it looks, just click on add to website for free. And then what it is going to do is take you to a preview screen where you can go ahead and take a look at this. This is how it's going to look on the website. Now, once again, once you are happy with how this looks, click on publish in this top right corner. And then it's going to ask you to choose a plan. So the plan that you choose would depend on how many website views you get. However, if you just want to try this out or if you are new to Elfsight and you just want to give this a bit of a test, you can go for the light version, which is completely free. And that is what I'm going to do. Now, once you have selected your plan, all you need to do is copy the code that it gives you right here. And this is literally as simple as copy and paste. All you then have to do is go back over to Wix, click on add elements right here. And then from this menu that opens up, go to the embed code section. From here, click on embed HTML and add this to your website. And you can see it's going to give us this clear box. All you then need to do is go to here where it says add your code and paste in exactly what we just copied. And as soon as you click update, you can see it's then going to add in the comparison right here. So you can see that this is in right here. Place this where you would like this to be placed. And that is how you can add in a before and after slider to your Wix website.